Hey everyone, how are you? Hey, it's Teresa Crane with Jeremiah Dreams. I'm just grabbing an extra thing of paint real quick. So tell me, how is everybody? As you hop on, please grant StreamYard permission. Um, let me flip this over real quick. Say hello. Grant StreamYard permission to display your name so that we can all have a conversation. That would just be amazing. And uh, I have something in my eye. So I think um, I think it's Monday. What do y'all think? <laughs> So as you join me, say hey and let me know where you're watching from. So here's the thing with, um, what am I thinking? On this page, when you do this right here, I want you to say in the comments, painting blessings from and then put where you're watching from. And that will um, take care of that little detail. Hey, Janice, how is it going, my friend? Did you have a good day today? I certainly hope so. Um, oh, I see more eyes coming along. Hey, Christine, how are you, lady? How is everything going? Y'all, I am ready to um, do a little creativity and de-stress. Not that today's been stressful. Here's my stressor. So I am trying to get my taxes all finished up, all the documentation, so that I can take everything to my, my tax guy tomorrow, and I'm not quite done yet, and it's just a bleh process, it's just bleh, so I need some de-stressing, and that is what I'm going to do tonight, and if y'all don't mind, I want to deviate just a hair, so let me show you, this is where we left off, with our chapel series. Oh, we got lots of light things going on. Okay. But hi, Diane. How are you? So if you guys will permit me. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'm glad to see you on here with me tonight. I just want to do something kind of mentally freeing and just kind of hang out with y'all and just paint. Would that be okay? Can we just do that tonight? And then we'll get back on the chapel series. But I was thinking, um, if you caught me Saturday night on the craft-a-thon, you saw that I did some um, buffalo plaid. But because we only had, you know, just a short amount of time to get anything done, I was just really going fast. So I just thought tonight, I just want to take my time and slow down and do a really nice buffalo plaid and I have some ideas on what to do on the buffalo plaid um so I'm going to share my screen and we're just going to dive in and here's the thing this is still easter related but I have an idea and I'm going to I'm going to get your input um but first the the first thing I need to do is I need just to uh put a coat of white on here just to help things um, flow and glide on this canvas. So I'm just going to take a wide, I have something on my mouth here, excuse me, I know it's a piece of fuzz, I know it is, um, and there it's still there just as I thought I, I got it. Don't you hate it when that happens and it's usually just like a really, mic I got it. A microscopic piece, but it's going to just drive you bananas. Um, so I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm going to get a little bit of water on here and just kind of thin down my white a little. And I'm just going to coat this um, canvas with some white and kind of get it prepped. Girl, I was moving. I was moving, moving. I was slapping stuff together. You guys, I used my um, work laptop in that presentation because uh, the angle of the the lens like I'm using my iPad tonight so my camera is like over to the side your comments are over here and I feel like my eyes are everywhere hi Rena how are you lady um 
And so I thought, you know what, if y'all will permit me just to kind of do something kind of fun and easy tonight. Oh, back to my story. So the other night I had done prep work. I got things prepared ahead of time as much as possible, but still leaving things in the demonstration um, so that people knew how I was doing things. But Y'all, I was slapping paint on that canvas so fast that when I got done, I looked at my laptop and I had flecks of paint on my keyboard and it's my work laptop. And I'm like, oh, no. So I've got to get an alcohol pad and clean that up. I mean, it'll clean up. But I was like, that is how fast I was slapping paint on that canvas, just trying to uh, stay within my time frame and be respective of the rules and guidelines for that event. So I'm like, oh, my I got to get that cleaned up. But anyway, I just, I want to come back. I have an idea, but I'm going to also need your input. Y'all, it has been so pretty here today. The warm temperatures, I'm telling y'all, it got up into the 70s here in Western Kentucky. And it just, I don't know, next week I've, I've heard it's supposed to get cold again. And I'm just, it's awful. It just teases you. And um, let's see, I'm making sure I didn't miss any comments, y'all. My, my eyes are tired tonight also. That's another thing. I need to do something that is a little less mental. So, Raina, did you have a good day today? I hope so. Um, all right, so I've got some white on here. Let me dry this just a little bit. I hope this is not too loud. I, I watch some crafters that use really, really loud dryers, and um, I hope that mine is not as offensive, but it is what it is. It, it is what it is. It's all I can say. But so I'm, after I get this white dried, I'm actually going to take one of my rulers and I'm going to actually mark off my lines. Hi, Judy. How are you? I always know my friends here are very faithful in watching. And I'm just so glad to see each and every one of you every single time. All right, let's see how we are. About got it. I just don't want to put my acrylic ruler onto this um, wet paint. So getting this tack stuff ready, y'all, it is just, I try very, very hard to remain organized. But only so much can be done and it just life gets in the way and it just becomes a monster so i have a i think it's a two and a half inch d-ring binder that i have everything separated in and my eyes are crossing anyway enough about that <laughs> hey Teresa, how are you lady Okay, I'm just going to kind of eye where this center is because I'm not too worried about that part. But what I do want to do, oh, my nose is itching. I must be having company. I'm just using a very light blue pencil and I'm just going to mark off. Did that show up? It did. Y'all may not be able to see this because I want to be super light with this. But I'm actually going to mark off two inch lines on this now this ruler is three inches but i am gritting off two inches okay let me turn this around so that i can knock it over my paint here i'll turn this around i don't know if you can see these are very faint lines and that's on purpose hi linda how are you and Let's see, there's my line right here. I love these acrylic rulers. I use them when I sew a lot. And I love them because you can use a rotary cutter so easy with them. But I love being able to see through and line things up and get things really nice and square. Um, and I'm just guessing here on where I want this line to be. And I've got several sizes of these and I just love them because you'll need different sizes for different 
different projects that you're doing. But I'm making all of these two inches wide. And let me turn this around. And then we're going to paint this a really pretty color for spring. And that should take care of that. Plus, on these acrylic rulers, if you ever get anything on, they're so easy to clean up. They're just a great thing to have in your tool toolbox. And I'm going to do this a, landsc a landscape position, okay? And y'all, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this really pretty purple. It's called Iris. And it just says spring to me. Hi, Gina. How are you? Hey, Ann. Girl, I survived Monday, but it was sketchy for a little while. I should say, I am i wasn't sure I was going to survive the weekend. <laughs> At one point, I was like, can I put one more thing in this weekend? I'm not sure. And, and let me just tell y'all, um, I was sharing this with my Paint and Create group Sunday afternoon, but I was sick uh, last week. And so if you... Uh, joined me for Kingdom Woman Thursday night. I was struggling. I just did not feel good. And I, I look back on that and I feel like it reflected. And the whole, y'all, I, I first got sick Tuesday. Wednesday, I felt a little bit better. And then Thursday, I didn't feel good. And I did not start feeling better until yesterday morning, really. And it's just been a journey. But I did survive. Okay, y'all. First thing I want to do is I'm going to mix this with some white to get a very soft purple. And these darker colors are going to be kind of like a black. Um, there's another piece of lint. Y'all, what did I get into? I'm going to get just a little more of this purple because I, I really want a very soft purple. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting this soft purple, and I've got my grid, my lines, and I'm going to let my brush do most of the work for me. Once again, I'm a human being, and they're going to get crooked, but that's just how it is. So y'all take some peace and grace in that with yourselves to know that perfection is not required. I am going to try to even it up a little bit. Okay, I love this color. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this around so I can do the other side and not get in the middle of y'all's vision here. Line of sight, I guess, is a better way to put it. And it looks like I may need to mix up some more. So I'm just going to bring some more purple over, get my brush wet so that um, we get a nice thinner version of the consistency so that it will flow over the canvas well. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this in. And I told you guys uh, Saturday night when I was doing the the uh, craftathon that if I took my time, I would be be more particular with my buff buffalo plaid. Now I'm going to skip that that section. I'm going to come over here and paint this color over here. And Linda took her stab at doing uh, buffalo plaid, and she did a great job. Linda, I told you I, I wanted to do a tutorial, so that's what this is. This is a tutorial, so to speak, on some buffalo plaid. Even up this line right here. So, um, just so you know, too, I, I felt so bad that Friday, my daughter came in for a little quick trip home. And I'm telling, I'm talking a quick trip and she came by herself. She didn't bring her family. Um, 
and we went to dinner Friday night. I did not eat much at all. And then we were supposed to go see my son and his wife. And I felt so bad. I just said, y'all have a good time. I'm going home and going to lay down. And that is not me. When my kids are together, I want to be everywhere they are. And I just, you know, sometimes you just, you just have to stop when your body tells you to. I can't seem to get this line straight for whatever reason. But that's okay. It'll probably get masked in another line. Um, and one thing I want to do also, because this is, this is a stretched canvas. I want to be sure, and you can't see this. So I'm just going to hold this up here. I want to do my edges to match these stripes. And I'm really just using the excess uh, that's on my brush. I need to be getting that paint cleaned up off of my laptop before it really becomes permanent. <laughs> I don't think it will. I think all I need to use is um, an alcohol pad and it should come right up. Don't you love this purple? It just says spring, doesn't it? Okay, I need to mix up a little bit more of this light purple. So I'm going to pull over some more of this iris color and pull in some white and mix that together. Okay, so I'm going to skip a line and I'm going to come over here. In fact, let me turn this around so I can get to it a little easier. Gonna get my edges. So tell me, oh Judy has something to say. Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> I love when I can get together with my son and daughter and their families. I sit back and think I'm so blessed. Another oh, April 16th. Congratulations. Do you know what it is? I'm having another blessing May 17th. Yes, I am. And I'm pretty excited. And we're having another little girl. Get my edges before I get too far along in the process. Okay, let me turn this around. Now I'm going to go this direction. No, uh, Linda, I'm just using a um, just a flat brush that's a little bit wider so that um, I can get some good coverage going on. <clears throat> this is not an angled brush. It's just a regular flat brush. But, you know, I have different widths, and this is just one that... Um, felt right for this this little project because these stripes are rather wide and so as i go through here i am just going to fill in these um sections between i'm i am going to go ahead and cross over just for um continuity not continuity what am i trying to think of just to make it all smooth Got a little carried away. This happens too. Sometimes the brush just gets away from you. And if it does, you just kind of straighten it up. See, it got away from me there. And you don't mean for it to, but it just happens. So you just make corrections.
Maybe I was being a little too cocky about doing a better job. <laughs> All right. So tell me, what is your favorite spring slogan? I want your input. Talk to me. Tell me what you love. We'll turn this around. Thank you, Judy. Is it really, Christine? How cool is that? May 17th is her son's birthday. I tell you, it's hard to imagine what it's going to be like having two little girls. Pull some more. I might get some more white going. I have a feeling this is going to be a late night for me trying to get this tax stuff done and organized and ready for my appointment in the morning and I'm just making long strokes just to smooth out this stuff I'm going to dry this and kind of see how it looks okay let's just see where we are Bloom where you're planted. That's beautiful. He is risen. Yes, Teresa. Spring is sprung. I like that. Y'all have some good ones. Y'all, while I'm thinking about it, Paint and Create will be opening up at the end of the month. So if you had thought about joining our Paint and Create group, it's going to open up for just a few days at the end of the month. So um, send me a message if you're interested. I'm going to be putting a wait list up. I meant to have already done it and life got in the way. Um but send me a message if you're interested and then I can let you know when the wait list is available. Oh, Judy. Good. I love purple. I need to get some more white on my plate. Hold on a second. Those of you who are in Paint and Create I seem to really be enjoying our time together and the projects with, we're, that we're doing and um, seem to be learning some things that are beneficial and fun. And um, I think it's going so well. I'm so proud. So let me know if you're interested. I think it would be a great way to learn some new things, a great way to dedicate time to being creative and a great way to build your paint supplies. Now, I'm just going to go back with a second coat over this uh, just to be sure that I don't have any canvas peeking through. You know, this um, reminds me of basket weaving 
and I love baskets. Get some more paint going. Okay, I feel like I need to put some more here just to kind of even this out. See, when, I, when I'm more careful, I'm more picky too. Okay, sometimes you just got to say, walk away, walk away. Christine says, it is a great group and I'm learning a lot. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, girl. I'm so glad. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use this iris color just straight up. I'm not going to shade it with any white. Let me clean my brush off. And let me turn this around. So I've got all the same color going, okay? Now I'm going to take this iris color. See, it's darker. And where these squares intersect is where I'm going to lay in this darker iris color. So sometimes if you outline that square first and then pull the paint inward, that helps. The paint is still a little wet underneath. That's okay. Because we're probably going to put more than one coat to make sure we've got a good base. Maybe I should go ahead and dry it. Let me do that. I think I'll be more satisfied. I think too on this, y'all know, y'all can get tired of hearing me talk about this. On this whole tax thing, I think it's going to get to the point where I'm just going to say, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what's missing. I'm taking what I have and I'll have to email the rest. <laughs> it just, it's overwhelming. And like I've explained to y'all before, let your paintbrush do a lot of the work for you. Let those bristles do a lot of the work for you. I'm going to go back and touch that one up after it dries a little bit. See, my hands want to get way beyond me. So I think I started to tell y'all, and I didn't finish. So when we were doing Kingdom Woman Thursday night, I did not feel well. So if things seemed not quite for me as it has been, I just want to apologize and just ask your grace because I was not feeling well. But I wanted to honor my commitment to you guys. And... Um, we just all have those moments, don't we? Let 
and I had already kind of canceled on y'all on Tuesday night because that's when I started getting sick. So I hated to do it again. But did you guys get to catch any of the um, other crafters in the craftathon? Did y'all get to watch any of them? Tell me if you if you did or didn't. And who, you know, what did you learn? And, uh, or did you learn something new? What did you enjoy? I would love to hear. And tell me, what is your favorite symbol for spring? I want to know that too. I got a lot of questions tonight. Sorry about that. But I got a lot of things on my mind. See, doesn't this look different than the other one I was slapping around the other night? <laughs> that was a trip. You watch someone new in Kentucky made on 62. I remember seeing that name. Yes. Flowers and a lamb. Yep, Teresa, I agree with you that. Judy says, I had to watch the replays because your daughter's baby shot. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You watched a ton of them. I am so glad y'all did that. Y'all, it's just the neatest event. And there is another group I'm involved with that we're going to be crafting 24-7. Not quite 24-7, but every day. And I will be in that group uh, the next two Wednesdays at 8 a.m. And I have 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I can't. I think it's 30 minutes. Um. I'm just going to do my thing. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing this Wednesday yet, but it'll come together. It usually does. I'm telling y'all, the thing I did uh, Saturday night, it was, I partly knew what I wanted to do, but then part of it was kind of last minute, and this is what I'm going to do. Okay, what do you think? Loving the blue. Hey, actually, this is purple. This is purple, y'all. Thank you, Judy. Raina loves spring flowers and lambs. Yes. Okay, let me dry this. So I'm looking at your ideas and I'm they're whirling around in my mind.
Okay, there's a reason I chose purple tonight. And I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I'm thinking. My brain's working, y'all. Okay. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Lambs, flowers, and the cute little furry rabbits. I love rabbits, too. I love lambs and flowers. I love all the things y'all are saying. Okay, this is, um, I'm looking for something specific here. I may have to go up to my little wall. Yeah, let me do this. Okay, I'm going to use this dark chocolate color. Okay. And let me, I still see some wet, y'all. Let me dry this better. Bear with me a second. Okay. I've used dark chocolate before. It's just been a little while. Get this little caked up paint off. All right. It's got a glob stopping it up, but there we go. Might need to work on this bottle a little bit later on I won't need that much so it's okay all right this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this right here I'm going to use this is another flat brush but it's not quite as wide as the one I was using I don't know if you can see all right and I'm gonna take this this dark, this chocolate brown. And this is what I have in mind. And I hope this works out like I'm thinking. And if not, we'll just do something different. So I'm using my Buffalo plaid as my guide. And I'm letting the bristles of my brush do the work for me in outlining. Okay, I want to fill this in. Now, that you see what I what I have in mind right here. The reason I chose purple is because it is the color of majesty. Now it's going to take a few layers of this to get a good coat. And we're going to give this cross some dimension too. Because I want it to look like it's lifting off of the buffalo plaid.
Okay, let me dry this and see what it looks like. Because I want to get a good solid coat on. We're getting there. I just need some touch up spots. You know, sometimes you just need to mentally take a break. And then I'm going to get back into my springtime or my spring chapel piece. Probably tomorrow night. But tonight, my brain was just kind of fried. And I thought, number one, I felt like if I attempted to work on it, I probably wouldn't have been able to do my best because my eyes are tired and my brain is tired. So when you feel like that, the best thing you can do is just take a step back, do something a little more relaxed, simplistic, but meaningful. <laughs> Now, my brain is thinking. I want to pick up just, uh, let's see, hang on, hang on. I want to pick up a little bit of this white that I used before and bring it over here. Oh, it does have some purple in there. Oh, it was underneath it. Gotcha. Well, it might not be enough to hurt. So I'm still going to pick up some of this brown and mix it in there so I can get a lighter brown. Okay. Um, and while I have plenty of this lighter brown on my brush, I need to turn this around so I can get to it a little bit better. I want to put a line here. So I heard this song this weekend. I can't get it out of my head. Um, by Travis Cottrell. I had not heard it before. And it's just one of those awesome praise songs. That just sticks with you. And it's called Oh My Soul. So if um, you go to YouTube and put in Travis Cottrell, Oh My Soul, you will find that song. Hi, Chicky. Hi, Rhonda. I was wondering where you girls were. I've been missing you. Okay, let's turn this around and see how we look so far. Got a little bit of dimension going on. Not a lot, but a little subtle. Okay. I'm actually going to take my round brush. Okay. And I'm going to clean up some of this um, that I just did. Just kind of fine tune it. Bring my paint over here so I can reach it.
I'm squaring up some of these areas. Okay. Okay. See, it's adding some dimension. Oh, Miss Rhonda, missing you too, girly. No results yet, Tiki. Yes, Raina, he is. Yes. Oh, Judy, you know that one, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. All right, y'all. I want to add just very subtle tads in here. To give it the wood look. Rhonda, I just realized you were probably telling Chicky you were missing her instead of me. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all have to forgive me. My brain, remember my brain is kind of kaput for today. It's Monday. So I apologize. <laughs> so this is a pretty uh, basic easy little thing I'm doing here because um, I told you sometimes you just need to unwind and just not worry about all the details and just enjoy and take it easy. I'm going to add in some curvature in here too so that not everything is so symmetrical. Oh, Rhonda. <laughs> you know, wouldn't it be cool if we all live close enough together and we could just have um, a sleepover, you know, like a slumber party? We would have so much fun. Oh, Miss Judy. Y'all, I worry all the time. I know I've told y'all this before and y'all reassure me, but sometimes I just worry I am boring. But I just so appreciate y'all being here and hanging out with me. And then I'm going to go back in and add some black because that's very important too uh, when you're trying to um, paint wood because you've got to have that depth. And these are like the highlights in the wood. So let me go ahead and get some black. Oh, Chicky, we love you. I may actually just be about through with this tube of black. I've had it. It's pretty big. I've had it for a good long while. Yeah, that's probably true, Christine. 
That is probably true. Okay, I'm thinning down my black quite a bit, y'all. Because I don't want this to be too thick. And I'm just going to go in and just add some of this black to give this wood look a little interest. Tone down some of the highlights. I told y'all I can't get this song out of my head. So, tell me what your favorite scripture is. What's your favorite scripture? Oh, Anne, thank you, girl. I wondered if it was going to look like anything. Y'all, I have these visions in my head, and I think, well, it looks like a good idea to me, but does it make sense to anybody else? Okay, one thing I want to do while I'm using this black, actually... I'm going to get some of this black and I'm going to mix it with this brown to get a darker brown. Okay. Because I want to separate this these browns, the lighter from the darker. I need to get some of this stuff out of the way. Get a good tip on here. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. Hey, uh, those of you in the Paint and Create group, I forgot to ask y'all, did you like your surprise gift that was in your kits? Okay, now what I want to do, I want to um, pick up some more of this white over here. Let me find a brush that I want to pick it up with. Because I want to make some very subtle gray. I'm actually just going to use the black it's already on my brush and it is kind of a brown gray. Let me go grab some more white. It's pretty light gray and that's okay. Because now I want to go along this brown. And I'm going to add a little bit of shadow in here.
And it's just going to give it a little more pop. Let me turn this around a little bit. Whoops. And you can't see this like big time, especially on camera. And it's not meant to be drastic. It's just meant to be very subtle to help some of these other tones stand out. Not all colors that you place down are meant for vivid vis visibility but sometimes they're meant just to enhance the other colors okay let's see if i can put this to where you can see it a little bit better look how it gives it a dimensional oh good proverbs 31 25 oh good you guys enjoyed that i'm so glad so judy can you uh, write out Proverbs 31, 25 for us? All right. So for me, the color purple is majesty. The cross absolutely is because Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Um. I need to, I need this to say something and I tell you what keeps going through my mind, but I don't know how to fit it on here. Waymaker. I love that song. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what do you think? Waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. What do you think? I'm thinking. Waymaker. So I need to write that on here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Y'all, I really, I knew tonight was going to be, we're just going to see how it all kind of pans out. So this may make no sense to y'all. But again, for me, everything is symbolism. So um, I'm going to use red. Light in the darkness. Yes. I love it, Teresa. So I'm going to just um, tell you what I probably should do. I should probably just kind of sketch it out in a lighter color first. So I get my placement right. So let me just use some of this lighter brown over here. I probably need to squeeze out some more because that's pretty, pretty dried up. So let me just do this. Let's put some of my go-to light 
khaki light brown and um, get just a brush. Let's just kind of, okay, this is how I approach putting words on things. So W-A-Y-M-A-K-E-R, W-A-Y-M. So maker M is going to be the center. I'm going to try to put that right here. And I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just doing placement. My brush is fanning out, so I need to get a better point. Okay. So we've got our placement. She is clothed in strength and dignity without fear of the days to come. That's really been my strength along with Jeremiah 29 11 since your husband passed away in August 2019. Judy, I'm going to bring your comment up onto the screen since you're sharing the word of the Lord. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. You know, sometimes with calligraphy, just keeping things simple is best. Just regular block lettering. Don't worry about getting too fancy. Again, I'm just doing placement. Another thing about doing something simplistic when you're tired is it's nice to finish one project in one sitting. And, um, I kind of needed that tonight. I'm not worried about how complete my letters are. Okay, so I've got my placement. Got something in my eye. Sorry. Now, I'm going to go in and really fine-tune my lettering. Probably need to dry this because it's going to, some of it's still a little bit wet. So let me dry it.
Okay. And I've got a really good fine tipped brush. And if it doesn't completely cover the brown, the light brown, it will the light brown will appear as shadow, giving the letters some dimension as well. Oh, thank you, Janet. Oh, Miss Judy, Teresa, we're praying that you have everything you need for your appointment tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Miss Judy. Oh, y'all are precious. So have any of you tried lettering with paint? Okay, so I'm going to go back. I don't want to thicken up my letters so they'll be a little bit more bold.
so I wanted to get a little bit off right there so I'm just going to straighten this up tell you sometimes the brush is your best friend or worst enemy because it got a little off right through there so we just got to kind of even it all up there we go So Judy says, I have, you get nervous doing lettering, but would love to learn how to do it right. Raina says, you haven't, but you need to. Linda has not. Oh, y'all, it takes practice. I mean, that's just the short and long of it. I, I feel better about my lettering now than I used to. Um, people have told me they like the way I write. But I have struggled with it. And um, it just takes a lot of practice. And one thing that I've done too is I would print, like I would go on the computer and find a font I liked. And I would print it out and I would use that as a pattern. But I'll be honest, I have not been free handing like this for very long if that tells you anything like everything I've done in the past usually I've just printed off and then used a pattern because I didn't have enough confidence and it, it truly is practice Almost done. So y'all, this has just been a very simple little thing tonight. Again, sometimes you just need simple. But I definitely want to get back on my chapel. There we go. This is what I feel tonight.
There it is. Raina, I'm going to pull yours up. You're bringing the word of the Lord to us, so I'm going to pull it up on screen. Psalm 12, 1 and 2, I lift my eyes into the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. It's awesome. I love that one too. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Judy says, confidence is my problem. I've always loved to write and you've painted over your writing, but to freehand. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing it that way, Judy, what you were just sharing. Rhonda, I'm so glad you like it. This is just a simple, simple, simple little thing, y'all. Simple's where my brain is. My phone's kind of crazy. Here we go. Now, there, there you can see it a little bit better. See, my lettering's not perfect. But he is perfect. Well, y'all. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Linda. Y'all, as always, it is always such a joy to just hang out with y'all. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for talking with me, sharing with me. Oh, Teresa, thank you, friend. Thank you, Judy. Well, I'm going to scoot out of here and get back to my computer and um, try to get all the things finished up. And then I'll have to go to bed. And probably get up early in the morning and go at it again. <laughs> You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you, Chicky. Y'all are just wonderful. I just appreciate you guys so much. Well, listen, y'all have a blessed evening. Get some good rest. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. And I plan to see y'all tomorrow night. Okay? I love you all. Bye.